Hi, so we are starting chapter number six, which is molecular basis of inheritance. This video is for you who follow NCRT and other students that who wants to refer that what we are going to learn into this particular video you can just um, cross check this particular list dna the search of the genetic material rna world replication transcription genetic code translation regulation of gene expressions human genome project and the dna fingerprinting this is the things that we are going to do the macromolecules that all the macromolecules what are the macromolecules that are present in our food that will be protein fat nucleic acid and sugar so one was nucleic acid okay so this is nucleic acid and nucleic acid comes into two ways number one it either it can be dna or it can be rna full form of them you already know so deoxyribonucleic acid is dna ribonucleic acid is the rna and they are the two types of nucleic acid when the molecular biology actually got started as the name the, of the chapter itself is suggesting molecular basis of inheritance okay if you just consider this to be as the field view the very first scientist that who looked under the microscopes and saw the nucleus and he saw one body which was colored okay so a body uh, which is colored so color is also known as the chrome and this body is so okay so in the name itself came as the chromosome so this chapter is all about all those molecular details that is that is going to decide your inheritance okay so inheritance you you know that you have got you possess some traits either you have got blue eyes either you have got black or brown eyes so that particular trait which is going to be uh, go into the next generation into your progeny that analysis okay so that study is known as the genetics and inheritance is just the passing of the characters from one generation to the next generation uh, this chapter actually becomes if you pursue uh, biology so this particular chapter becomes itself the molecular biology okay molecular biology in your bachelor's or master's wherever you go so this particular chapter is being divided into three basic portions okay so number one uh, portion will be the history portion okay so how actually so for some scientists it was just a chemical okay nucleic acid is just a chemical uh, so um, history wise so how did it get identified that indeed this particular chemical is the basis of inheritance this is causing all those characters to go from one generation to the next generation so identification of dna is the genetic material this will be the first thing so identification of dna as genetic material okay so this will be the first one domain of this particular chapter next domain would be the structural aspect structural structure you can say this dna this rna what is it composed of at least you should know that nitrogenous bases possess nitrogen that is why they work they are called nitrogenous bases which is an integral part of the dna uh, the nucleotide is the monomeric unit of the dna so these structure portions will be the second part the third part will be the uh, physiological part functional part okay so function so what function is it doing dna uh, is carrying out the genetic information from one generation to the next generation fine but obviously it needs to replicate itself okay in replication one dna actually make its copy so it has to carry itself so that will be under the one functional role that it needs to propagate itself second would be the dna that why we, if it is if it is we are calling it as an information what information it does it have so it has got this particular information that what different proteins can be coded in one particular organism is being written on to the dna itself and that uh, okay we'll discuss it later but that information which is being written how to make protein okay on to the dna that will be the next functional role that from the dna from the dna we are supposed to make protein so these are the three domains of this particular chapter and after that one one domain which is also there which is like uh, application so how you and how and where you can apply this particular knowledge so into the historical background we are going to do 6.2 search of the genetic material into the structural portion we are going to do the 6.1 dna and rna into the functional portion we are going to do um, the replication transcription genetic code and translation 
and that this regulation of will be also the part of the function and after that we'll come on to the application so there we are going to do 6.9 human genome project and the dna fingerprinting so this was the basic introduction for this particular chapter